To God be the glory, I'm O.W. Prince, and this is your real illuminating moment. May God be praised. Hello, my friends. I would like for us to entertain the notion of feeling the Holy Spirit. Don't let the good feeling fool you. When listening to a preacher or upon hearing a preached sermon, many have confused an emotional chill, an electrical type physical response that runs over the surface of our skin for the Holy Spirit. Don't let that feeling fool you. Some of us like to say that we feel the Spirit, but the Holy Spirit is not simply a manifestation of an emotional or physical feeling brought on by an audio, intellectual, or spiritual stimuli. That can be explained as a frisson, which means ecstatic chill. The Holy Spirit is a person who confirms God's acceptance of our repentance, and He is the teacher, the revealer of Yahweh's truth and laws. He is not simply a feeling. Please don't mitigate the holiness and divine power and personality of the Holy Spirit or delegate the Holy Spirit to just an emotional response. He is much, much more than that. The scriptures nor Jesus supports such idiocracy and disrespect of the Holy Spirit by uh, referring to him or his actions or presence as simply a feeling. Where in the Holy Scripture does anyone express the idea or notion of feeling the Holy Spirit or experiencing the Holy Spirit through their human feeling? Where? Where can this be found? Acts 2, Acts 10, Acts 15, Acts 19, and a few other scripture sources confirms that the Holy Spirit of Yahweh is referred to as a person who enables one to live holy, empowers one to see and understand Yahweh's mysteries and truth, and who confirms and seals our salvation in his own tongue. And I will warn us that the devil and his corrupted religious messages are so well crafted and engineered so as to resonate with us emotionally and stimulate us cognitively that we become emotionally excited and say that we feel the Holy Ghost. When in fact we just feel what anyone would feel when stimulated or when excited by anything. We feel the same thing if somebody were to touch us in a certain way or we hear a certain song or a certain who pleases our palate, we would feel excited. But we don't say that's the Holy Ghost. My brothers, stimulation. My brothers and sisters, understand this. Stimulation isn't an indication of the Holy Spirit's presence or revelation. I will repeat that for clarity. Stimulation isn't an indication of the Holy Spirit's presence or revelation. Satan may be fooling you. Don't let the good feeling fool you. Seek the real Holy Spirit, the one that makes you live holy, love unselfishly, forgive readily, give generously, obey God's commands and laws faithfully, honor his holy seventh day Sabbath weekly, and stay sexually pure in thought and deed honestly. That's the Holy Spirit that we desire. The Holy Spirit is our comforter and guide. And if you are feeling the Holy Spirit, and he doesn't compel you to repent of your transgressions against Yahweh's law and commandments, to turn away from false Sabbath days and social immorality, sexual filthiness, greed, gluttony, lewdness, vulgarity, and Christianity's substitute for Yahweh's authentic truth. Uh, then I would suggest that whatever it is that you are feeling isn't from God. It isn't the Holy Spirit, for God's Holy Spirit supports God and not paganism. God, Holy Spirit, is about God and not about church. God, Holy Spirit, is about the kingdom and God's righteousness and not about superstitions, lies, idol gods, crosses, figurines, and institutional faith, denominations, and religious constructs. Don't get it twisted and don't let that good feeling fool you. Repent and be baptized in the authority and by the command of the Holy Messiah and you will receive the gift, not the feeling, but the gift of the Holy Spirit who will guide you into all of Yahweh's truth, not into a Bible theology or into Christianity or into a religion, but into Yahweh's eternal truth. 
again, I plead with us to please repent. I'm O.W. Prince, and this has been your real illuminating moment. And as always in parting, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Life hurts, but God is. Thanks be unto God. Keep looking up.